Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to Gamer Guide Channel. I am Brawlin and this is the Delirium TMS uh, Modified. Basically, I threw a uh, new stealth unit, I threw an engine and a fuel tank on the back. I'm here uh, with Duke of Derp, Cybot, and Jerem Stone, and uh, we're just playing a couple games. I'm still getting used to flying this thing. Um, you can buy this pack basically now on the market if you want to support the devs. Uh, it's not super cheap, but it is a good way if you're not level 10 already to uh, be able to access the Dawn Children. Um, I do have a press account um, also that uh, I'll be showing you some stuff on in a future episode. But this time around, I figured what we do is we build a uh, ground vehicle and a new hover uh, completely from scratch and uh, try out some of the new weapons. Uh, we already got the synths here going on this, the Delirium, which seems pretty fun. Uh, I'm still... A little rusty here on getting this thing to maneuver. It's a little strange. It's like uh, gliding pretty much or coasting. So you have to actually press the opposite direction if you want to stop one way. But uh, it is pretty fun and it is a lot different too than playing a grounded vehicle. One thing I can say I already appreciate is uh, not having to worry about all the uh, explosive fuse drones right underneath my butt or sneaking up on me and stuff as these things seem to be resistant to it until you get your... Uh, your Hover's blown off and our dragon on the ground. Let's see if we can back up here and we'll lay a little little fire down, see if we can distract these guys. Looks like somebody has got the Aurora. It's a great support weapon, probably something I'm gonna try to pick up as it's supposed to increase the damage of your other weapons by up to 100%, depending on how uh, you have over how much you have overheated the part that you're shooting. So I could see it being really nice with something like the synthesis or possibly uh, some miniguns too, chain guns. Um, so I'm gonna have to try a couple different things out. Let me back up here real quick. I'm already losing guns. We've got two left though We got Duke heating them up. Let's see if we can help lay down a couple shots here on his cabin. That's a pretty nice little hit 143 and We get his last wheel. Oh, that was too close. Let's, <laughs> let's hide here. Let's get behind the rock here a little bit All right, looks like they're they're backing off We'll move in with the rest of the team here Duke there we go, Jamstone got it with the uh, triple synth build. I like that. It's kind of got modified uh, the shotgun wedge to uh, use the synths. And I was checking out the market earlier today, and I noticed that the uh, synths are now the number one selling weapon, which doesn't really surprise me. They're only uh, rare as far as the quality goes, and they do a lot of damage, and they seem pretty good. Uh, and they're relatively inexpensive compared to everything else as I ram the front of my face off. <laughs> you have to forgive me here. I'm just not a very good driver yet with these. Yeah, but we did get the victory, and even with my pitiful piloting and uh, the help of my team. But stick around. we got lots coming up. Welcome back gamers from around the world to uh, some more cross out here on the Gamer Guide channel and uh, we're going to start here by building a little Chenoweth styled uh, dune bug. Something a little tougher though and I'm going to be using the brand new quantum cabin uh, along with some of the weapons I just got from uh, that hover uh, package on the market. So we're definitely going to be using some synths on this thing. Threw in a light engine and threw on some stealth as I thought that might be kind of interesting. And then I picked up one of these Auroras uh, from the Marketplace. I'm going to deck it out in some pretty heavy armor. And uh, let's give it a paint job here real quick. We'll throw a couple of these uh, cosmetics on too for good measure. And uh, I think the lava looks pretty awesome. It's a brand new paint available too. And then we're going to go and repaint the front of it. And let's get started. Alright, so I thought a good way to start out would be to check out the brand new Chase uh, raid missions that she have now. And this is a new level for me too. It's the uh, Desert Mission. Uh, that I haven't seen before. The idea here is to uh, chase after these two uh, convoy trucks that are heavily armed, unlike, unlike our convoys that uh, are not. Uh, and then they have a pretty good amount of troops too with them that we have to take out. Kill the henchmen, kill the two main trucks, and uh, do it before they get to the end of this uh, raid. So it's pretty interesting. Uh, and also from what I've seen, if you don't bring a good vehicle, it can be a bit difficult too, especially if somebody's AFK or something like that, as it really takes everybody on their toes since we only got four people in uh, easy raids and uh, I think it might even be less in medium I think it might be three as I've noticed in some of the other uh, games too 
So I'm hoping that the Aurora I put on really complements the synths well, and uh, we're able to do some pretty heavy damage here to this uh, first truck and uh, get a win before the end of this thing. Uh, the Aurora by itself doesn't seem to do a whole ton of damage, but uh, I think with the rest of the team here and uh, everybody assisting where I'm hitting too, it should go pretty well. Though right there, it just seemed like we are able to destroy things pretty good. That guy got the final blow though with his uh, cab. All right, let's see. Can we take off some wheels? Let's see if we can peel some stuff off here. Or maybe hit the cabin directly. Here we go. Let's, just, let's push him to the side and give him a beat down. Especially with the shotguns here, we should make short work of this guy. Oh, there we go. Let's see if we can get around this guy real quick to uh, put some bullets directly into his windshield. And there we go. We got our first victory here on one of the raids with our uh, what I call the Lava Monster. I just uh, thought it looked kind of cool with the new paint and then with the headlights and everything looking like eyes. So let's uh, name it something kind of monstrous. So uh, definitely a good, pretty good performer there. Let's take it out into some matches now against some real players. All right, so we got uh, the Vicious Cucumber on our team and uh, Beast Mode on the other team and stuff like that. So we'll have to keep our eyes peeled, but I'm feeling like we need to go down here in the pit. Also notice that uh, some of the bots here got some pretty heavy weaponry. So we'll see how this goes on our team, probably the other team too. We'll see if we camp up here on the side, maybe we can hit some people without suspecting we're around. We also got stealth too, we can uh, pop on somebody. All right, got two guys around the corner here. Uh-oh, we got a guy coming towards us here. It looks like he's got probably four of those little uh, defender machine guns. Let me try to get out of his range here real quick and take his guns out. I got something behind his guns. Shit, all right, well he stripped out my parts. This is not a good start here, but uh, let's get out of the way and maybe we'll uh, try to go capture the base. We still have our stealth at least, so we could use that. Why don't we fly over to the other side and uh, we got a hateful otter guarding the uh, base. We need to be very, very sneaky. I don't want any hateful otters on my heels. Because they can bite. Can be quite nasty, I hear. Alright, we got around him without him noticing, hopefully. Hopefully he does not have a radar and he's oblivious to uh, looking at the mini-map. But uh, let's see what kind of luck we can get here. If we just capture one point and get out of uh, dodge, we can get our team a uh, victory, hopefully. If I had some guns, I'd feel a little bit more confident about this uh, strategy. But I don't really see... How else I can help except for exploding on somebody. All right, we got somebody coming up here. Let's see if I can get it before he hits the cap. Yep, we got it. All right, let's take off here. One nice thing about this brand new Aurora cabin is how fast it is. For uh, something with 11 energy, it's really, really nice. And uh, pretty tough, too. Has a pretty decent weight capacity. So I'm definitely liking this. And shit, look at all the red dots behind me. <laughs> oh, my God. I need to get out of here. And they're trying to, to knock me down with those quasars, the brand new uh, cannons from the Dom children. I didn't think those things had ammo, but uh, I think there's a certain amount of energy that they come with, and after you run out of energy, you, you can't shoot anymore. Is that right? At first, I was under the impression that uh, it was just endless ammo, but I think it actually does have a finite amount of ammo, just like all the other cannons do. All right, let's see if we can take this guy out with an explosion as uh, his two Reapers. Oh, shit. All right, I didn't see those little fuse drones, and I've already self-destructed, so I'm out. But hopefully that uh, one point I got will a whole sustain us here. As long as these guys don't get off the pad and they don't kill them before the end of the match, we'll have a victory. All right, we got one guy with the new Spark 3. That's a weapon I'm uh, definitely interested in trying out is I found it's a way to be totally invulnerable to missiles, for one thing. And also a lot of the drones, if you can hold people back with the uh, sparks and uh, just aim it in the direction of the drones or missiles, you could do pretty good. We got one second left. Very nice. I was worried about that. That was super close. <laughs> but it looks like our uh, unarmed vehicle is still able to get a victory. All right. So we're probably not going to ever get stats after that one, but we did contribute in the very uh, least to capturing that one point, which doesn't reward a lot of points, I noticed. All right, here we are. Let's try again this time. Hopefully we won't get our guns stripped out as quickly this time against uh, those guys of the Defender. We'll try to play more of a supporting role than a front lines role. And uh, I think we'll have better luck this time if we just stay behind some other people and let them take the attention. All right, we got one of the bots going in and uh, Death Metal 94 up ahead. He's got three of the uh, Spectres, so hopefully he can put down some pretty good fire on these guys. And I'll help him basically with the Aurora, heat these guys up and uh, let him do a little bit more damage to them. 
All right, then look, I think that guy is gone. We got a bunch of them over here to the right, though. There we go. Let's just light this guy up real quick here. There we go. Easy work there. And it uh, looks like we got a couple Quasar cannons on that hover there, too. Someone up top. All right, we'll keep him out of the way, hopefully. All right, we got another guy with guns. Let's come through, and we'll just jump on this other side here and let uh, Death Metal come up. Fill the hole a little bit better and get out of his way, basically. All right, see so if we can hit HLD up on the hill there. We got him lit up here with the Aurora. And those synths are doing some nice damage. You got 167 right there. Oh, we got somebody behind me. Crap. Pretty damn sneaky. I right, got his gun off real quick, and let's see if we can finish him off. And unfortunately, that guy flipped over, but uh, we just lost both our synths. He hit me with a couple missiles, though. All right, he is gone, but we still got Aurora, so we can at least uh, be an assistant king here. All right, let's go ahead and light up his cabin. All right, he's done. And then we got one more guy backing off a little bit, trying to hide from the quasars on that uh, hover behind me. All right, we'll go and use our stealth here real quick. Let's see if we can get in close, and we'll uh, try to aim on something that he needs. Maybe his cabin, for instance. There we go, a couple wheels. And we're doing a little bit of damage, but the Aurora definitely is not a primary weapon. Okay, he's going to self-destruct. Looks like we got the victory there. And uh, let's go ahead and build a hover now. I think I've had it with the uh, ground-based vehicles, and I'm sure you guys want to see what I can do with a hovercraft. But uh, let's see. We got our 10 fuel, got some more wires and stuff, and uh, how we do on our stats. Um, so yeah, 6 to 6. I knew we were going to get a lot of assists there. All right, here we go. We're going to build a brand-new hovercraft from scratch. So we're going to put out a pretty sturdy frame here, but uh, using lightweight and some of the regular weight parts, normal parts, We'll stick our Aurora cabin right in the middle for that extra 11 energy. And on the side, we're going to put some parts as spacers uh, that we have our hovers between and also to offer as a little bit more protection for our frame on the side. There we go. Uh, we'll put some armor here on the front. Want a little bit uh, tilting down and a couple decorations and stuff too. And then we'll use some of these light lunatic parts here on the side for a little more plating and protection for our stealth module stick in the middle and our uh, improved cooler. And then uh, some of our lunatic parts here we'll put around the cabin to help protect both the cooler and our uh, pilot. And let's move these rounded parts all the way to the back here to link up uh, with some more of the armor that will protect our engine, our horn, our radio, and then our mounting points here too for where our scents are going to be uh, living here. All right, we got some of the half wall panels. And then we're adding some decorations here to the outside. And then some more formidable armor on top and the back so we don't uh, lose our generator easily. And since on the front, Aurora up front, and there we go, that is what I'm calling the Fire Phoenix 4. This version has a little bit more armor on it than the others, uh, which had more radar components on them, which I felt were maybe a little wasteful. So I just threw the radio on and I think uh, we can follow our team and keep our eyes out for bad guys and we should have no problem. And uh, we've improved our piloting, too, since uh, you saw us in the uh, earlier clip, uh, where I can actually fly this thing fairly competently. So I'm not a master yet, but uh, much better than I was before. So let's slip around here to the side, and we got guys coming up here in the middle already. So we'll see if we can pop out and hit uh, some of these bots before uh, the rest of the team comes in. And it looks like I got at least one other guy here behind me. All right, red eye. He kind of uh, did a little surprise attack, but uh, we'll get a couple hits on him before he takes off. And it looks like uh, somebody's got a drop shield over there real quick. I think they call those things uh, Barrier 9. And uh, put turrets down, so that should be kind of an interesting new aspect of gameplay here. Uh, so far, I'm liking all the new parts, too, uh, that I've seen. And I like that there's been some balance kind of put in to uh, combat some of the drone issues and missiles and stuff, too. It's just not everybody has them yet, so... Uh, I feel like once more people get more of the parts from the Dawn Children, I feel like the game's going to be a little bit more well-balanced. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully it will. I'm sure there's still going to be a meta and a favorite build and stuff, but so far it looks promising. All right, so we got like a quarter of our vehicle gone, but fortunately uh, enough of the weight was taken out where we're not dipping or flying funky. So we'll see what we can do. And I still got my two cents. I lost my Aurora, though. But we got one guy down here and grounded. Let's see if we can hit him, finish him off real quick. Nice, we got a kill, and so uh, let's come around here and see what we can uh, do at the base. Looks like we lost our uh, stealth module too. All right, one bot left here with uh, 
Gosh, these bots now, they have miniguns. We have to watch out. Reapers. All right, let's see if we can catch up with Sarah and uh, finish out that free kill. Get us a couple more points. Let's make it a beeline to our base, too, so it'd be a good thing to get them out. There we go. Victory. Let's see how we did as far as our points go. All right, 2604 rep, and what do we get? Uh, 460, four assists, so just so-so, really, with this, but it was a lot of fun to play. All right, we're on the Fortress map, one of my uh, more favorite maps to play. It's going to be a lot of fun. You just got to keep your eyes out, and uh, a lot of open field here, too, so if you play it smartly and get yourself in a place with some good cover, you can pop out and do some pretty good damage, especially with these synths, I'm guessing. So let's see who we got over here over the hill. As uh, I can seem to get around pretty quickly. And uh, let's see, if somebody's already up on the base, that's not a good sign. Alright, no one so far, so they must have all gone to the left when they started. Alright, let's I see somebody up here on the top. Let's go see what they're up to. Ah, there we go. And let's hit their cabin. I think I missed with some of those uh, sense shots, or it wasn't, didn't seem like it was firing. Maybe it's just the angle of the vehicle makes a difference. All right, got that little drone out of the way. All right, all four of us up here on the top. Got a couple bots, too, rolling through. Let's see what we've got on the other side. Usually they're drawn to where the enemies are. All right, got Diamer Cunt up on top. Let's see if we can uh, lay some good fire down on him, get him to start shelling us. And we got some of the uh, fuse drones on our team, too. That should be helpful. All right, here's one of their guys. Looks like a fuse drone lair. Yep, definitely. He's got a fuse drone right there. Let's see if we can take him out real quick. Keep him from doing damage to our team. Come back here, you little bastard. I like those wheels, though. Those are pretty cool. I don't have those yet. But uh, with the new wheels out, I'll probably prioritize getting the new uh, Dawn Guard stuff before I get the old medieval-looking wheels. All right, we got one more over here. And one of the good things about this build too is that it's so easy to strafe with. You can kind of get around people and still have your guns pointed directly at their cabin. All right, watch out. Got a fuse drone coming in. Let's back up here real quick. Ooh, that was super close. Almost lost our face. All right, let's see if we can uh, finish off a merit cunt real quick. He looks, he's looking pretty damaged there. We got full access to his cabin, so let's see if we can put a couple more shots right on it. We got it glowing, and he is out. My goodness. Uh, Dr. Sid is the only person left, and we got a bunch of drones from him too, it looks like. So at least we know what kind of uh, vehicle he has. All right, let's go ahead and we'll try to cap while the rest of the team uh, hunts him down. I see him down there below. But uh, at least we can put a little pressure, get him to come up here, come to me, basically, if uh, our other teammates don't take him out. Though, no crap, I am noticing we only had 15 seconds. So oh, we still won. Somebody got him. Nice, we got the victory. Let's see uh, how many rep points we got. Still working up till 10 to uh, open up the Don Children faction. We're cleaving one of our missions. We got a little more scrap, at least. And a couple new badges. And let's see, we got uh, two kills and 1361 for a score. Not terrible. All right, next mission. Here we are on uh, Control 17 station. Uh, kind of an old favorite here, and uh, this one can be a pretty interesting match. I usually have some pretty good games on this one. Let's say we'll uh, wait up for some of the team here. See which way they're going to go, as I want to try to play support again with the uh, combination of the Aurora and the Spectres. Uh, though this thing is a little bit more fun to play, I'd argue, than the uh, Lava Monster as uh, being able to drift and stuff like that makes you a little bit harder target. That's an interesting layout there with the Quasars, too. I like the, what he did there with one on top and bottom. Keeps it a little bit more compact. Though it does look like he's weighted down a little bit more than me. So you take this guy's cabin out there. Nice, we already got ourselves a kill. And uh, looks like they got a shield up on that barrier, so I'm going to just move out of the way. Seems to be a new popular tactic is lay down a bunch of the uh, turret drones and shield them. So that uh, shield only lasts for a couple seconds. There we go, we got one guy out. Let's work on our Lando here. And he's gone. All right, already got three kills. All right, let's see if we can strip out that Quasar real quick. Or the cannon. It might be a mammoth. I'm kind of hard to tell from here. All right, I'm not sure if he went around the corner or what happened there. 
All right, let's see. We got AR lore. All right, he's got himself a grenade launcher. I gotta watch out here. All right, he is out. Somebody else got the kill on that. Let's head over here to the base. Looks like we got another uh, probably drone dropper. I don't see any weapons on him, so probably. All right, let's see if we take out his hovers real quick. Or at least take out his frame parts. Oh, yeah. He's the guy with that uh, quasar shield. Let's just move out of the way. One thing he can't do is move around the corner. So uh, he's kind of screwed. He's got to stay right where, he, uh, where his help is. So we'll go ahead and take the base here and uh, wait for his drop turrets to disappear. And then uh, let's go over there and see if we can finish him off. All right, I got one. Let's go see what he's up to here. I see him around the corner there. It looks like someone else is fighting him too. Let's pop over there and see what he's up to. Oh, there he is. He's got his butt on the ground. We'll just uh, finish him off real quick, hopefully. Nice. All right, we got the victory. Well, anyway, guys, uh, thank you for checking out this episode. If you haven't yet, uh, please thumbs up the video. I'd appreciate that very much. And if you're new here to the channel, uh, please subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to have more Crossout coming to you this week. i got a couple other episodes kind of already in the works. And I appreciate you watching very much. And we'll see you guys in the very next episode. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.